Today, I want to show you how to remove anything in GIMP. So if you're ready, let's do it. Hello, my name is Chris Parker, and I'm here to help you achieve your creative vision by mastering GIMP. And I'm going to help you get one step closer by learning how to remove anything in GIMP. So what exactly are we going to be removing? Well, let's check out the original image here. Once we're done editing, our model right here will disappear. How cool is that? So if you want to follow along and practice what you learn with the exact same image I'm using, I applied a link in the description below so you can download and use that same image. So go ahead and do that, open it up, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer so we can work non-destructively. I'm going to grab my zoom tool here so I can click and drag around this area of the image because this is where we're going to start our editing. And that's because this is the easy part of the edit. Once you learn how to use the two tools we're going to use to retouch, you'll then know how to apply it in the more complex areas. So the two tools we're going to use are the clone tool and the healing tool. This is the keyboard shortcut for the healing tool and then the letter C for the clone tool. We're going to start with the clone tool. So the clone tool and the healing tool work very similar to each other. The clone tool is going to take an area of the image and copy those pixels exactly to cover up another part of the image for that retouch. The healing tool is going to do something similar, but instead of copying those pixels, it's going to take the information that you target. It's going to take the texture, the color, the contrast, to cover up another part of the image and they work slightly different in those two ways and let's take a look at how they actually work as you begin retouching with the tools. Now like I mentioned we have to take one part of the image to cover up another part of the image and we have to tell GIMP what area that is by targeting it. Now to target an area you have to hold down your control key and then click on that area to tell GIMP okay once you click and release this is the target area. I want you to copy all these pixels inside of this circle. Now, the size of that circle is dependent on the size of your brush. If I increase or decrease the size of my brush, so does the target area. Now, the key for this particular edit, at least at this point, is aligning the straight edge of the steps so it has a straight edge all the way across. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to click right here and drag over to the left and you can see the pixels are being copied from the left side to the right side here pixel by pixel and you can see that the target area is moving as well so that it's not copying those same pixels in that original circle that we started with so this creates a more natural type of edit with that target area moving with our brush because we can actually move up and down as well and because the height of the steps are the same height, they align perfectly. Now, as I continue going to the left, we can see that the target area is going outside of the canvas, and at some point, it runs out of pixels to copy, and we end up with a straight edge right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue removing this part of the dress right here. I'm gonna stop right here at the top, and then when I come down here to work on the right side, Take a look at the target area again as it moves to the right. It's going to begin painting or copying from the dress and applying the dress over here versus the steps. So what we need to do now is reset the target area to finish off the retouching of this part of the dress. So I'm going to release my mouse button and the target area is reset where it was originally. I'm going to come down here and hit my control key and click right here to reset the target so I can come over here and begin applying it on this part of the dress. Again, I'm running out of canvas space, so I have a straight edge again. If I release, I can go ahead and restart right here. Looks like I was a little bit too high. It's not aligned with the edge of that step, so I'm going to undo that with Command or Control and the letter Z and just move down a couple of pixels. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. I can then begin working on this side of the dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this. I think I'm gonna come over here and set my target over here on the right side now. So I have a little bit more room to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there and increase my brush size so I can get this part of the edit done a little bit quicker. 
by covering more area. So it's looking pretty good so far, but you may notice something happening with our steps, and that is there's a definite pattern emerging with the different details on the steps. So we have what looks like snowflakes on different parts of the steps, and we can definitely see that with this shape right here, or whatever this detail is. It's been cloned three times, and it looks unnatural. So we wanna blend this in with the rest of the steps to get rid of that obvious pattern. And we also have some snowflakes up here, and maybe a couple more up here, and maybe a couple more in other areas up here that we need to get rid of, which we can do with our healing tool. So grab your healing brush with the letter H. I'm gonna make my brush size smaller, and I'm gonna actually make it just a little bit larger than that detail right there. Now, just like with the clone tool, we need to target an area to heal from. So I'm gonna hold down my control key and click right here, and then I'm just going to paint over this area, release, and then paint over this one here, and we can see that blended in and didn't repeat the pattern of that area there because it's not copying the pixels exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue retouching some of these snowflakes out by resetting my target area according to what step I'm working on. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because we could be here all day. Now that you know how to use the clone and the heal tool to remove anything, I wanna actually show you how to fix a complex background like we have here because unlike the steps, right here we have a circle shape. So we can't use the clone and the heal tool like we did with the steps down here because of that round shape. Now we can right here in this area because we have straight edges here. So I'm gonna actually do that now with my clone tool and I'm gonna set my target right here and I'm gonna go ahead and work in this area to start. Maybe come over here and start with the target area here with a larger brush. Again, I'm not gonna make this perfect and spend a lot of time on this. I just wanna get through this so you know how to apply the clone and the heal tool for removing anything in your images. So looking okay, but I could probably spend, like I said, a little more time getting this to look perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this part right here. I'm a stickler for detail, so it's kind of hard to stop. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heel tool here and go ahead and blend in this part of the stone area here because it's looking a little bit too unnatural for me. So I'm just gonna blend that in with the rest of that stone area. So something like that, that looks pretty good. Let's work on this part of the hair right here. I'm gonna start with my clone tool, pretty small brush and control click. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clone this area right here and continue targeting new areas to work from. I can go ahead and go with the larger brush now that I've cleaned up a little bit there. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this in. So that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's work on the hard part of this edit, which is making that shape around right here. So to do that, we're going to use our rectangle select tool, which is right here. The keyboard shortcut is the letter R. We're going to make a selection right here. Make sure you don't grab any of our hair inside of that selection, but you do wanna make sure you get a large portion of the left side of the shape. And then you're gonna go up to edit, copy, edit, paste, to paste those pixels into a new layer. And to do that, we actually have to come over here and click on this icon here to create a new layer because right now it's just a floating selection. So once you click here, those pixels are placed on its own layer. Now we're gonna go up to layer, transform and select flip horizontally so that we can place it over here on the right side. Let's grab our move tool with the letter V or I'm sorry, the letter M and let's go ahead and move this into position. Make sure it's aligned perfectly. If you need to, you can use your arrow keys to move it into position one pixel at a time. I'm actually gonna grab my zoom tool now so I can click and zoom in a couple times here so I can align this perfectly with the rest of the shape. So again, I'm just using my arrow keys here, my left and up arrow keys to move it into position. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to right click on this layer and select merge down. Now with my zoom tool, I'm gonna to hold down my control key and click once to zoom out. 
and we can see we're beginning to remove the rest of our model here, but we have one problem. That layer that we created, copied, flipped, and placed here has a hard edge. Well, now we can come in here with our clone and heal tool to continue blending in this part of the image. So I'm gonna start with my clone tool right here so I can get rid of this hair here. And then with my heal tool, I'll go ahead and blend in these hard edges with the rest of the stone there. So we have a straight edge up here on this circle shape. So I'm going to come in here real tight and I'm going to use, let's try our clone tool first to see if we can get that to blend in a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. Actually, I want to use my heel tool. So I'm going to go ahead and target this area here and then just work around the different sides here to blend it in as much as possible. So that's looking pretty good so far. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out again. Actually, if you hold down your spacebar key, that will allow you to grab the picture and then move it around to a new place to navigate to other parts of the image. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, let's go with our healing tool for this part. We have some stray hairs here, so I'm gonna start there. So that area is blending in pretty good, but I think we need to use our clone tool for the rest of it. So right there is looking pretty good. So I still have some straight edges here. I could have done a little bit better on that, but we'll go ahead and skip that for now since you know how to do that. We need to copy this top part of the shape to complete this area down here. Actually, I think we need to come over here and grab it from this side because if you take a look at the bottom of the shape, it's really dark and it has a harsh shadow down here, whereas at the top, it looks different. So we're gonna grab our rectangle select tool again and make a selection right here. Again, we're going to copy and paste and I'm going to use my keyboard shortcuts, which is Command or Control plus the letter C and then Command or Control plus V to paste it in. We're gonna create a new layer again. So there it is. And then we're gonna grab our move tool with the letter M to move it over here. And we're going to use our rotate tool and then we're going to grab our rotate tool, which is right here on our toolbar, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift plus R. So I'm going to click and drag down here so I can begin rotating that into position. Go ahead and hit enter or return and then go back to the move tool so you can move it into position here. We're going to have to go back to the rotate tool another couple times maybe to make sure this is aligned perfectly. It looks like I did a pretty good job right there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter or return and now we just need to blend in the rest of this part right here and actually I think what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer mask on this layer just click right here fill it with white and click add now with my brush tool which you can grab with the letter P and painting with black will begin removing part of that shape so that it aligns over here perfectly but it still covers up our model so that's looking pretty good right there. I wanna remove it right here. Now we can go ahead and right click and select merge down so we can continue removing the rest of our model here. So I'm gonna go back to my clone tool here so I can get rid of this part over here and then target over here for this part. And of course, back with the heel tool so we can blend this in a little bit better so it blends in with the background. And then we have one more piece right here. You can try and use your clone tool for this small part right here. It looks like it's working out pretty good. Or you can make another copy of your shape to place it in right there. Okay, Control, Shift, J, and let's take a look at our final edit here. So there's the before and the after.